So, um, to me, mass incarceration is uh, a detrimental, ongoing, systemic process that is locking many brothers and sisters away, many people of color away, black and brown folks, a lot of poor folks, and it's drastically affecting our communities and ha having a negative impact. And the way that is negative, um, negatively impacting our communities is that it's separating the man from the woman. It's breaking up families, it's breaking up homes, it's taking the breadwinner, breadwinners out of the homes a lot of times. That includes males and females. Um, and what it's doing is it's creating communities where we are not cohesive. And because they were not cohesive, we're kind of lost. And also, in terms of economics, the family is the foundation for everything that happens in the community. So when it comes to economics, you need all hands on deck. You know, we came from societies where, you know, down from little children were working. And, you know, from parents to aunts and cousins, all were working together. So if you have members of the family who aren't able to work, who can't contribute to the financial stability of the household, then your household is going to go down the tubes. And so that's why you have a lack of wealth in the um, in, you know, black community specifically, amongst other issues as well. Um, and it's created this, it's created this rites of passage where young men of color, their rite of passage is going to the prison system as opposed to going to college or mm -hmm. getting a trade or going a career. So we need to change this dynamic. And one of the ways we can change this dynamic is by changing the way that police are policing our neighborhoods. They're profiling young men of color, even folks who are not um, you know, involved in any type of criminal behavior. For instance, in my neighborhoods, I've been profiled dozens of times. I've never been arrested, but I have been you know, chastised. I have been profiled. I ha I've seen many brothers go get locked up for you know, misdemeanors, which you know, hinders your ability to make income for yourself. If you go to prison, no one wants to marry you. So if you can't get married, how can you raise a family if you don't have that, that unit? And so this whole um, justice system is creating um, a situation where women can operate without the male in the household. But what happens is, is that when it comes time for that young man or young women to grow up and get that fatherly love, that guidance, that nurturing from that male figure, they don't have it. And so they seek other ways and other means to find that love, to find that support. And so those are just some of the ways that mass incarceration is negatively affecting not only our communities, but me as an individual and especially folks that don't, you know, young people that don't work with. So in a nutshell, that's what mass incarceration is doing to us.